Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County in Ontario theme city. And make sure to hit the like button too. The like button helps the channel a lot. Um, last episode we built a suburb, which is fantastic. I really enjoyed uh, those kinds of builds. Um, and uh, we kind of noticed a lot of traffic by the end of the episode around the zoo, especially around with, uh, with transit. And um, the crazy thing is that we've been doing transit all week, but we're going to have to do another one because it's, it's the city just is kind of demanding it in a way, right? So we're going to do kind of like a half and half suburbs development slash transit. It's it's suburban transit. Uh, so I, I think it kind of goes with the theme of today's episode. And uh, I know last episode we were trying to push for uh, the megalopolis milestone but uh we're definitely gonna achieve that today because we're almost there right now and we might actually be hitting it uh during this cutscene here through all these high rises <laughs> um very funny all right so uh we're actually gonna start up today's episode with just a small little uh naming of a street uh it's, it's actually a pretty major street but uh, we're gonna start off uh, today's episode with that and we're down here by the waterfront and this is a name suggestion from last week but i forgot to do it earlier in the weeks uh, but i checked my notes and i was like oh i, I missed this one uh, but this street right here it runs right from the amusement park down past our uh, inner city bus station which uh, i forget if i told said this or not but i'm actually turning the inner city bus station off for inner city buses uh, so i'm turning it off and we're just using it as a bit of a city uh, bus hub because it's a really really cool building uh, but the amount of I think I talked about it I've, 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 I forget but the amount of industry buses coming in here was just madness and, and like all of them had zero people on them so I turned it off we're actually gonna go look at buses uh, shortly after this actually but uh, this street Reed Street right here this pretty much runs all the way along the waterfront and then ducks into the city a little bit more and then it connects up we're here uh, this is a pretty major street, and we are going to rename the street George Street after the first monarch to visit Canada, King George. This is the sixth, I think. Fifth? I don't know. One of the numbers. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know, you see plenty of George Street George Streets in Canada, and that was a great suggestion by JMWZ in the comments. So thank you very much. Uh, and we are going to go in a completely different area of the city today because we've been developing the waterfront a lot lately there's still some room for development for future areas our future developments like our port system that's going to go in here probably next week because we're kind of needing it uh, but we're gonna hop along Steve McQueen Boulevard and we're going to drive all the way up past the diverging diamond with a million buses and this is kind of one of the things we'll be looking at today because the amount of buses that are needed to support this transit system is crazy at this way and uh, there's two things. It diverges here. We're going to go look at this uh, bus station over here in a bit. Uh, we're going to do a small little mulligan fix to that. But we're going to swing all the way over here. And you'll see something a bit different, which is something I just wanted to do off camera to ensure that I could fit the rest of today's episode in. Uh, and that is we're going to get trams out this way. So I am just created a bit of a tram stop here for two different lines. But the amount of people waiting on here is absolutely madness. So let's just grab this line. We'll find the, the stop, which is this one. Okay, it's not that one. Where is it? Here it is. And if we zoom out using the commuter destination mod, we see where everyone is going. Uh, lots of people going over here, but lots of people heading downtown as well. Uh, especially all the way over here too, which is very surprising. And all the way down over this way as well. So we need a better trans system to support that. I don't think it I don't think I really mind having buses support University Square but we definitely need better transit from the downtown into the zoo area and uh, that is also supported by the bus station over here that we were looking at that the same thing uh, occurs with the commuter, de commuter destination mod uh, so we'll be looking at getting a tram which is something we kind of prepped last episode when we built uh, this suburb over here uh, but we're going to get the trams to go in a bit of a trench around over here and then it's going to swing all the way out and connect into the city this way but we're going to get two different lines uh, it's going to split off here and it's going to go to support uh, this system 
So this is a uh, kind of a it's gonna be a bit of a shorter tram line, but I'm really excited to do that. But now that we're over here, let's talk about this really briefly. And there's a flood happening somewhere. I think it was down over here. What the heck? Got a bit of a surge of water over here. Gotta watch out for that. All right, sorry. Um, this is also an inner city bus station. The amount of inner city buses coming in here that have zero passengers, oh, come on, is badness. And uh, there's probably a mod, well, that's just a normal bus, that fixes it. I thought I downloaded the right mod for it, but it just eliminates the uh, inner city trains that have zero passengers. I thought it did the buses too. But there's so many buses that are doing this. Zero, zero. So what I'm thinking is I'm just going to actually delete this. We're going to put in a normal bus station because that's kind of what this is for. This isn't really exactly for an inner city bus station altogether, but we'll be getting an inner city bus station in our airport build. Uh, I feel like that is an area that could support that, mu that many buses. Uh, we'll be having dedicated transit lanes pretty much just for in and out of the airport. Plus, I think it goes thematically too. Uh, also, if we're looking at the inner city bus hubs, I think it's this one. It has a subway station attached to it. So when we get our uh, subway out here, we could actually hook into this and it would really support the inner city bus stations uh, anyways. So, uh, and perhaps we'll get another one. Maybe we'll turn this one back on down over here, but uh, that's a lot of future planning. Uh, let's get into today's episode and we're going to start off with this. We are going to delete this. Look at everyone that was using these buses. These green buses were just crazy. So this is why I want to get a dedicated bus hub over here because we're going to definitely need some transit support. All right, so we're going to go with just the basic one. We're going to click it in and this is huge as well. So it's a little bit funny how this works. And then I'm going to grab these two. I'm actually just going to drag it out a little bit more. There we go. That's pretty good. I like it. Um, all right. So the next thing we're going to get is actually going to uh, get some trams through here. Now we, I know we haven't done the connection over here, but I want to get, I want to do this build first before we look at how we'll be bringing trams uh, in and around here and then future tram lines as well. And then once we're done that, we'll get into suburban development if we have time. I hope we do because I really uh, want to get going with that. Uh, but we'll be just grabbing the basic suburban road that we have or the suburban road, geez, uh, four lane tram road with a dedicated tram lane. And we'll be bringing it out to about here. Yeah, that works. And that'll continue that way uh, momentarily. But. Uh, I really want to get a parking lot in here because I'm sure that people would come in here and then they'd have a bit of a, bit of a park and ride kind of system, right? So uh, that's what I kind of envision happening. Plus, uh, there's actually some parking spots over here, right? So if we're looking over here, people will need to park over here. So maybe that's short term parking and then this is maybe long term parking over here if we get a parking lot. Plus, I think maybe we can get a couple of shops, shops to support it. We might even be able to get at least a pedestrian connection uh, in with this high school over here uh, as well. So let's look at getting that in. So that's why I wanted to extend this out just a touch because uh, we're going to grab the parking lot road and we're going to bring it down to about here. I think. Yeah, that works. And then we'll be grabbing the big one and we'll bring it out to about there. Oh, uh, collision was off. Silly me. Let's take our tree brush and let's just eliminate some of these trees. Hopefully there wasn't any other ones that I forgot about. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty good right there. I think I might just extend it out just a touch just to kind of push the concrete out a little bit. Uh, and then this one as well, I think I might just try and pull a little bit. Oh, no. Yeah, that works. All right, so now let's get our parking lots in here. Uh, well, where is it? Holy cow. All right, let's grab the big one and we're going to leave just an extra space here so that cars can get around. We're we'll doing that. And then let's grab some electric vehicle parking and we'll be putting in a bunch of this because maybe this bus station has some incentive with the province <laughs> and we'll be getting just a couple more. 
Uh, actually don't know about about these ones here. Ah, it's okay. I don't want to delete anything by accident. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's clicking them in. Okay, anyways. Uh, you get the gist. So, you know, we got a big parking lot here. A bit of a park and ride. Plus, now we have some zoning opportunities here. And what better zoning opportunities th than uh, some commercial? Now, I hope that that actually works. And we can get, say, a couple shops back here. So let's just actually grab this one. We're going to turn off our guidelines. We're going to go right up the middle here. Just like that. Actually, let's go with uh, the concrete one. Okay. Then I'm just going to go in. I'm, ugh, ugh, words. I'm just going to grab this. We're going to scooch it over just a touch, just momentarily too, because I really want to get uh, another pedestrian road in here, but it doesn't look like it's going to work. So I think I'll just put it back. Let's just click undo. There we go. So we have a bit of a connection into the parking lot at least, and we'll be getting some shops through here, but let's just fill up the whole area with concrete. There we go. Getting some shops. <laughs> Sometimes words are difficult. All right. And uh, let's just also blend this in because we'll be needing it momentarily. And we'll blend all that in with concrete. And we'll come back and touch it up momentarily. So these shops will be able to kind of support uh, people going in and out of the bus system. But since we laid the, since we let the sim go, um, we didn't actually move all these buses over here. So let's just uh, move some of these stops. I think we're gonna get the two green ones beside each other. There we go. I think that's all of them. Oh, there's a bus over here. Let's get that in there as well instead. There we go. Now everyone's going to be running around. And we've kind of created a bit of a bus hub now. And that's fantastic. Because people will be able to hop on their buses, get into either the subway or uh, the tram lines, which, will be, which we'll, we are building right now. Um, and yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, so let's grab the trams now because we're building uh, a bit of a tram turnaround here uh, and let's go to our tram only road we're going to upgrade this a little bit so cars will have to turn into there uh, and now let's get a bit of a one-way tram track nice oh actually let's bring this in just a touch more there we go and then we're grabbing the one-way tram track let's actually go to about here and we'll go into a free form uh, curve actually go out two and down two and we'll go out two and down two and then we're just going to grab a straight road and we're going to connect up like that all right and now we just need to turn them around so we just got to make sure that it's all good and then let's just grab these three nodes and we're going to pull it back to about here fantastic and then we're going to grab the node controller click that in just once and uh, it straightens out this node so pretty much what we've done is we've allowed this tram to turn around here uh, but we're actually going to get the stop over this way because it's going to be a bit easier for pedestrians uh, to use it uh, but we're not done with this little build yet let's grab our concrete path and whoa jumpy and we're just going to drag it into about there and hopefully pedestrians will be able to access it with this crosswalk uh, and then we're just going to blend it all together. Don't worry, I saw that little glitch. I'll fix that momentarily. I forget how I did that, but that's okay. It's an easy fix. Pretty much just need to drag it out to about there. Awesome. And look at this. This is the kind of shop I was hoping for. So we'll get that to be is this a car wash? Okay, well, maybe we'll let that one grow, grow up. Fry Guys, nice, that's fantastic. Big Bite Restaurant, I think this is going to be the same exact building. If it is, then we'll, we'll delete it. It is, okay, so we're going to delete this one. Um, all right, so we're getting some, some cool little restaurants in here, which is fantastic to see. Uh, and we could actually do some things with this once we look at detailing it. Oh my gosh, what the heck's happening? that holy moly all right we got lots of people using this road 
but now without those inner city buses, we should this intersection should really uh, alleviate some or have its some of its pressure alleviated, which is great. All right, and let's just look at getting a bit more detailing done in here. We're good. We have some pedestrian and bike access into this area. Um, all right, so let's just kind of tweak this a little bit. Actually, I'll just leave it for now because uh, I would like to detail this area up a little bit more. Oh, I forgot to get that pedestrian connection in that we mentioned. So I'm actually just going to uh, grab that road and we'll be bringing it down a bit more. Whoa, that's not the right road at all. And then uh, we'll grab our pedestrian path and we'll disconnect in here. And hopefully, okay, looks like we'll have to just do that. Hopefully, uh, people will be able to, to cross into here. It looks like they should, which is great. And then they can walk along the, uh, the sidewalks. Um, all right. So now that we've kind of completed this area, lots of people are using it. Lots of people have demand to leave this area. I mean, understandably so, it's just a field at the moment. But let's take a look at the tram system as it stands. So we've been doing lots of tram revisions. And if we're looking at this light blue line, this light blue line goes from the waterfront over. It connects with this orange line. It connects with the purple line here and the yellow line. Uh, and it goes all the way to the university. Uh, and it also connect, connects with uh, this light blue line as well, or artist blue. But the purple line connects into that little tram loop there, it connects with these the orange bus, connects with the light blue and the yellow, and it just continues straight on and then turns. And then it connects with this red uh, tram, which is the uh, Queen Street line, which goes up to here. So what I'm proposing is that the city will take this and make this a bit of an east-west line and it will continue just out it's a it's going to pretty much become a bit of a shorter tram line uh, but perhaps instead of turning it around here we turn it around here so it just has a bit of extra leeway with uh, this red tram um, but I mean technically this we're cutting this one off a little bit but I don't mind perhaps we can bring it down along here or something like that too but that one's going to loop around here. It's going to go all the way over and turn around into here. So it'll support everyone out this way. And then what we can do is reimagine the light blue line and the purple line that run north-south. And we'll be able to get it north-south. We'll turn it into here and we'll go that way. But we'll also get uh, a tram that'll turn into here. And it'll support and come down right into here. So it's a bit of a different little system here but it will also have a little dedicated tram that'll run from here to the zoo as well so it's a fun little system now technically what we could do is just have this tram line that run from here to here on a dedicated rail and that should be enough because it'll bring passengers into the subway station which is kind of what the buses are doing at the moment but why not just continue it you know so that's what we'll, what's, that's what we'll be doing we'll be continuing along high street here which is uh, the second high street in the city apparently and it will be continuing it right along here and i think we'll take it as a road until here and then we'll take it as a dedicated tram uh, road beyond so that's what we'll be doing i'm going to start off uh we're definitely going to need to up the grade uh the gradients the gradient no that's not the right word uh the lanes on this road after a little while but uh i actually started recording this yesterday and I had a pretty massive glitch that I couldn't figure out on stream with this road. So I just don't want to risk it. And it looks like it's happening again. So we'll see if we'll be able to actually do this. I really hope we can. All right. Uh, because what was happening, as we'll see in, in a second, if I get this connected. Hmm. See that the, there's no sidewalks? Uh, the trams wouldn't put stops on them. We had, a dip we had difficulty bringing a stop across here, across this intersection. You see, there's, you can add a stop in here, but it can't add a stop in over here. 
There's no purple line showing up on the right of the screen. So something is amiss with this intersection. Uh, and let's just try an upgrade. Oh, that one didn't work. All right, well, I will be figuring this out. Um, perhaps it is to do with this road instead. Okay, so even if I go on to here, see it just turns off the sidewalks, it's weird. Uh, but, you know, I don't exactly know why it's happening. Uh, and I don't exactly know how to fix it. So that is what I'm trying to do. And see, it's not just the fact that the, the trams uh, can't go there. It's the fact that the stops won't connect. Oh, we're good over here now. Oh, ho, ho, okay. So it looks like it fixed itself. Nice. Hopefully. We'll, we'll, I don't want to speak too soon. Um, all right. So let's get a stop in... Uh, anyway, so I don't think I explained what I'm doing. So I'm gonna be getting a uh, stop over here. So we'll be getting it right there. Uh, I mean, we could get it over here, but it just seems a bit more of a reasonable spot to have it over here closer to the subway. Uh, but it is pretty close to the, uh, these parking lots. So that's okay though. It'll stop there, it'll turn around and we'll continue along. Uh, I don't think we need a second stop there, but that's we won't get one. We'll put one here just temporarily, and then it will come down here. And let's get it to stop right here. And then we're gonna get it to stop. Oh no, it happened again. Let's see, why can't you just continue? Okay, so maybe it's something missed with this. And I know there's a tree there, but that shouldn't have actually cause that issue. Um, okay, perhaps if I delete this road. And we'll try it again. Okay, we lost the sidewalk here, which I, that's just kind of like a, a tell that something's amiss. Uh, go here. Oh, no, that's not it. All right. And tram stop. Go back. Whoa. That's actually a good sign. Okay, well, I'll just leave that there. Pad stop, okay. We're looking good so far. And I want this tram to uh, loop around here and just have a bit, be a bit shorter. It'll connect with a couple of these lines. Um, and I think what we'll do is we'll get it to turn around here. We'll connect it uh, with that one and then I'll head back. Um, let's grab it there. And let's grab it there. Something's weird. Okay. We'll get a stop there. And we'll go all the way back to here. Okay. So that is one of the new lines. Um, let's just open it up really quickly. Uh, where is it? Do, do, do. Here it is. So tram line 6. No, tram line 11 is what it is. Let's just make it a light ish color, like a gray color for now, I guess. Oh, didn't really work. That's, that's okay. All right, just so we can differentiate it. Uh, because the university line has now been cut off and that's kind of fine. I think, I'll, I think we'll actually just delete the purple line right now, the university line. So we'll take out university line. That's buses, Steven. Uh, where is it? University line. So tons of people are using it which is fantastic, but people will use it differently now. So we'll delete the university line entirely. Um, okay, that's great. And uh, now we can look at where we had these stops before because we missed a stop right here. And we're good along this light purple line, okay. I actually wanted these stops over here. Um, can I get them a bit more in the middle? No, okay, that's fine. Actually, beside the high school is probably a better option anyways, so that's fine. Um, all right, so now we need to look at uh, running that university line differently. So we had that one, uh, it ran into here, 
and then it continued all the way through and then it turned. So I, we want it to actually go a bit farther. So I hope that we can actually figure this out. Uh, let's use uh, these roads here. Where's the standard uh, tram road uh, with, is, is that the one? Yeah, let's just see if it's the standard one that we need. Uh, it's not gonna cause any issues. We'll start off with this one and I'll look to upgrade them to dedicated ones uh, later on. Okay, so we're gonna take out that bike lane and then we're actually gonna hop up the block and we're going to go all the way through past this uh, intersection here and we'll lose those houses unfortunately and those ones but then we'll come down here just to turn around with that little loop uh, that's fine we'll let all these houses regrow um, and I mean we have some residential demand anyways and then we're gonna go all the way back so we're gonna follow it do, 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 over here past this intersection underneath the, the highway here and then we're going to reintroduce these roads as normal roads so we're gonna take out the transit system and uh, why don't we uh, no we won't we won't make them bike lanes it's fine uh, to you there we go we're already on the normal roads that's fantastic there we go so uh, the train will then continue along here and then I would like to connect it down into this system where we have pedestrian access uh, as well so it'll really improve this the transit system from old Batherston all the way over north so uh, let's look at getting that in so let's go to trams let's actually go to it from this way we'll use these new these new old roads i guess uh, and we have a bus stop there so hopefully by doing that we don't break too much out except there's trees in the road now okay well we got that uh, back there and we'll just get the tram to turn around here and then I guess we'll get the tram to come up this road so it'll loop around that way nice there we go okay so now that we have these tram lines going let's get another uh, tram route going and we'll get it to stop uh, unfortunately I think I might have to move this bus first Um, okay, can we do that? Uh, yeah, I just don't really want it to share the, the road with me here. So I guess maybe we can, we can uh, get it to hop over here instead. Yeah, and there we go. And then we'll get it to stop right there as well. And I'll duck around here to avoid the intersection. All right, there we go. That works. Uh, and let's go to trams here. And let's get our stop right here. And we'll swing around. We'll go over. Let's get a stop uh, right there. Uh, it'll then turn. And we'll sh try to share a stop, I guess. Or should we just avoid it? I think maybe we should avoid it. Um, and then we'll move these two stops over here. Just so that we're not... This purple train isn't going to be stopping uh, where the red train stops. All right, and then we'll swing underneath the highway here and we'll get a stop in right here on Holly Street. We'll hop across and we'll get another stop right here. And then we're going beyond it. So I think we'll get a stop right here. Uh, I think this is probably the better spot for a stop. So we'll back that stop up. We'll delete it. We'll get a stop right here. So, you know, it's a bit of a skip. Um, this doesn't really matter that much and then we'll get a stop over here and then how about uh, we're gonna have to turn around so I guess we'll just do something like that then I would have gone the other way but that's fine <laughs> uh, and we'll get another stop here and then we'll just kind of mimic ourselves on the way back. All right, and we're gonna go all the way over here, get a stop, and then finish the loop. Okay, so 
That's a bit of a lower density tram, I guess. Tram experience. <laughs> but uh, we'll get this to stop. So what I'm thinking is we get these stops right here. Uh-oh. There we go. Whew. So now there's not like a too much of an issue with the purple trams turning and the red trams going straight. And then right here, I think we'll, what we'll do is we'll get uh, the stops. Whoopsies. Wrong side again. Uh, we'll get the stops right up here so that there's literally no stops right between these two trams, but there's transfer points on both sides. Uh, and then we have this green bus here, which let's go to buses. And this one will stop right here and we'll move this one up a little bit so that this way people can actually still use it. Though this green bus should probably go a bit farther, shouldn't it? We'll actually put it over here and then we'll get the, the bus stop right here so that it's a bit closer. Yeah, okay, it's a bit weird, but that works. All right, so we're 30 minutes into the episode. Uh, we have that new purple tram line. It's tram line 10, is it? 12, okay. So let's just make this one uh, green, probably not. Let's make it orange. That works, so tram line 12 has nine cars on it. Uh, let's go down to eight temporarily. And then tram line 11 was the new uh, one from the bus station. Whoa. Over to the university. All right, so let's just find it really quickly. Uh, this one is going to be quite the popular bus line. So let's put 12 on it for now because things are, are going to change in a second. So now if we look at transit, we have um, a purple line that goes from the bus station down to uh, this line, which I guess in a way doesn't do too, too much other than populate the university and connect up with other supporting transit systems because theoretically you could go from here down to here, hop on the electric line and go there. But you know, it's a secondary support system. It helps uh, move people around in the university, connects with uh, the Lake District. So. Uh, you know, I, I think it's a worthwhile tram, but how great would it be to get a massive tram line that would go all the way over across the entire city and go right up into here? It would be a huge line, but a very important line that would connect up with multiple uh, subway lines, multiple tram lines. It'll be just like the largest connector would be almost the equivalent of the Queen Street line when we when we originally built it. Uh, but that would mean now that the yellow tram has its terminus here instead of the purple tram, which it used to be. Uh, so we, we used to have that tram line connect all the way down here. But now we have that tram going this way. So what would happen is if we go back to here. Uh, this light blue tram would turn into the tram that goes all the way through and then this pink tram would take over its position right here uh, at this terminus. So it's a bit short of a tram line, but you know, it's very supporting still. But this tram line would be really good as well. So I'm thinking we could either... So I really like this little build here. I don't want to delete it. But we could get this line to come into here, stop, and then continue up. I just don't know if that's going to cause too many issues, especially with the amount of trams we're going to have on this line but I think we do need to get better connection here so instead of going out in front of the high school I say we call a mulligan on an earlier build this week surprise surprise let's take our risk with this bigger one let's upgrade that nice looks like it's all okay now um, and let's grab our tram line uh, oh, this isn't trams. That's buses. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, and it's this one. Let's get it to stop. What the heck? Okay, let's grab that one. Love it if you could stop over here, please. Is it because of the bus? 
Okay, well, let's grab the bus line and let's just move it uh, over here temporarily. And let's grab the tram line now. There we go. So now it curves over here. It has a connection uh, with the yellow tram and the yellow tram stop should actually be over here now. Because that's where we have the ticket booth if we look at the build. Um, all right, so the yellow tram, this tram's freaking out apparently. Oh no, we're good. So now there is a bit of a connection here. Um, oh, this guy's having a bit of a meltdown as well. <laughs> uh, and we need to now move this bus line now. Okay, so this bus line can stop right in here. Uh, I don't know, perhaps we can get it to stop in here instead. Okay, and then now we can transition these two out. Oh my gosh, look at the amount of people over here. Fantastic. Okay, now we can move uh, these two to be... I can actually make this a dedicated tram uh, road. Ah, no, it's, the game doesn't really work that way. That's okay. Um, we'll make these four-lane bus... or four-lane roads, though. Uh, holy cow, my brain. Let's get going here. Alright, and now let's get some uh, dedicated turning lanes on here. Alright, so this guy's just having a, a time going into the yellow trams line. Jeez. Uh, and let's continue revising this tram line. So uh, let's grab it over here. It looks like we need a stop on this side. So I know we have a stop right here, but that's more of a transfer stop. This stop's going to be a bit more... This, this is going to be a bit of a milk train, right? Like it's going to have stops everywhere because it's such an important line. Uh, and then this one has a stop over here and we don't have a stop on the other side. That's interesting. I wonder, wonder how long we've been dealing with that. Uh, so that stops right in front of the library. That's fantastic. And then, oh my gosh, man, another situation here. Let's move these in front uh, along this side. Uh, and then we're going to... Uh, Let's see, drag a stop. Let's get a stop here. Let's take that stop out. Oh, I think I messed something up. What's this light blue line? This light blue line comes all the way out over here? Why? Okay, that's interesting. Let's uh, take a quick peek at why that is happening. I don't see it stopping anywhere though. Oh my gosh, look at the amount of people. Sorry people, making them run everywhere. All right, so I think what we need to do is try, oh no, now I did it. see no that didn't do anything all right well I'll look at fixing that off camera because that shouldn't be there uh, oh look at that okay now I've kind of moved it let's take it out and it went right back all right anyway so we have this line now it's freaking me out okay let's let's just change the color of this tram line the waterfront north line Let's change its color to like red. Um, and now let's see if we can actually figure out this issue with this light blue line, because this light blue line shouldn't have a stop here. And it shouldn't be going this way either. All right. Uh, yeah, I might just need to delete that line and start again to fix it because unless it's going it's doing something silly over here, no, nope, it is just doing that. Okay, anyways, I won't get distracted any further, but we're going to see lots of traffic now. 
Uh, this purple line is going to go over here, but now we need to drag this red line. There, right there. And uh, this purple line needs its stop uh, right here, I guess. Let's actually get it right there. So now there's a bit of a transfer point uh, right here. It'll do its loop, head back around, hop over here. And now we need to try to drag the red line. There we go. And we'll drag it to have a stop over there. And uh, let's try to find it again. Let's do something really temporarily quick. Is it holding shift or, can't, or control? Oh gosh, I forget how this works to get uh, to really pick and choose these two lines here. Oh, there we go. Gotta stop, gotta stop. Okay, perfect. And now let's just try and grab it again. So it's turning around it seems. So let's try to grab the red line. Oh, anyways, all right. I think we can. I think we can grab it. I'm sorry for flipping back and forth. I just really would like to just grab the the, the right train line, train line, train line, tram line. Okay, let's try to drag it from over here. There we go. All right, one more. It's going over this way, is it? Why? Like, why isn't it? easier oh my gosh okay let's uh you kind of get the gist though right like it's coming over here it's going this way and now let's actually do the rest of the build holy cow uh, but right now uh, after this road is actually going to turn into a dedicated train line or a tram line and we are just going to drag it out about here let's say And uh, the reason why I wanted to do this is because I want to just, you know, change the pace up a little bit. And we're actually going to entrench the road uh, after a little while. So we'll just curve it out to about here. Straight. And then we'll get it underneath this road, which uh, we elevated last episode. Whoops. Let's just go straight, I guess. There. there and then we'll curve uh, let's actually drag this out like like something like that right across the intersection and then we'll curve it out like so and uh, now we're just gonna make a straight connection in like that all right and now we're uh, all the way out over here, which is fantastic. Uh, and we just need to grab these two nodes here. Let's put them closer together. And we need to set them at a height that is appropriate for trams. So we'll lower it down to about here. It's probably good enough. Uh, and yeah, wow, this is a lot steeper than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> Uh, perhaps what we can do then hmm because that is rather steep uh, we can grab this one and we can lower it and this one too just a touch so you know the train the trains do have to sink down a little bit but why don't we try just do one quick thing here let's just grab these two and let's just raise it up a touch and hopefully that's a bit better so the trams will have to go up here it might be a little bit difficult in the snow but that's okay and uh, all right that works so that is the appropriate height so that means I want uh, all of these to be the same height as that and then I would also like uh, this one to be the same height I forgot about that and we have a pillar in the way, so we're just going to try to grab that with move it. There we go. Let's uh, delete it. So we're just going to click this button here. Deleted the pillar. All right. And then now 
what I would like to do is just try to smooth it out a little bit. So we'll just do something like that. That's much smoother. Save with that. All right. So now I have this trench that runs right along here. Uh, it swoops up <laughs> steeply. Uh, let's just grab this. We'll smooth out the terrain. Alrighty. I think I'll detail this. Uh, I'll show you what I'll do, but I think I'll detail it off camera. I guess we're running out of time in today's episode. Alrighty. Let's just work that out a little bit. And yeah, that should be steep enough. Uh, and then now we just need to tweak this still. And you know what? I hope we don't hit Megalopolis because uh, now that we literally spent all episode doing trams because of silly mistakes and silly things happening with the trams, with, with the trams, <laughs> uh, with the trams, um, I think we'll do that next episode then. Um, all right. So uh, I would love if we could get this tram... Uh, trench to begin right about here so we'll get the same height right to about there but what we'll do is now we have the network multi-tool uh, I'm just gonna grab it we're gonna go into slope mode and we are going to actually add in a node beforehand no come on node we'll add one in right about here it's better it's about a tram length distance and then I'm going to move this one down. And uh, we are going to go from here, not add a node, oops. We want this tool here, from here to the curve. Uh, I would like that to be a slope, so 2.9%, that's a fantastic slope. So now, trams will have to go down here, and then we can get bridges over top of it. And people are using it as a walking path. They'll swing up here. Yeah, I mean, that works. Let's actually check the, the grade uh, from, whoa, from here to here. Okay, from here to here. Yeah, that's uh, it's fairly steep, I gotta say. So I wonder if uh, we can just kind of play around with it a little bit and get this to be on a bit better of a grade. So uh, we can try, say, uh, adding a, a node right here, which uh, we can then uh, grab this one, scooch it a bit more down, raise it up a touch, uh, grab the node controller, grab them both, slope the nodes, Yeah, and then we can also uh, just grab these two and raise them up a touch. Which, you know, isn't the worst idea in the world. And then now what we can do is grab uh, these two and raise them up a touch more. All right, and let's just actually try and line this up a bit nicer. Let's move this one. I think after that will be perfect. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's a much nicer slope. All right, and now let's get uh, some tram lines on here. So uh, we're going to get two different tram lines on here to support the buses. We'll get one right here. This is going to stay on the outside. It's going to go all the way around because this is actually a two-lane, one-way tram track, which you can get in the workshop. Uh, let me know. If, uh, I think I sent it in the description before. Let me know. I can do it again. Uh, if uh, you're looking for that kind of tram and let's just get a couple stops in here briefly and uh, this one is going to go all the way down so we're going to get it uh, to stop uh, once in here and oh wait sorry I guess not uh, 
I messed up. Let's delete that. Because it's, this red tram is supposed to be the one on the outside. But I need to grab the darn red tram. Okay, let's do that. Let's drag this stop out to here. Okay, there we go. Now I just need to actually put the red tram stop back. There we go. Red tram stops over there. And I'll get these red tram stops here eventually. There we go. Let's grab the purple ones. Let's get another stop in here. Okay, that worked. Finally. All right, so the red tram swings out to here. Let's just get another stop here temporarily. And then right along the outside. Okay, and now along the inside, on the other side of the tram, we're going to get the express tram that goes all the way over here. Uh, oh, I guess we should probably get it to stop. All right, before we do this, don't mess this up again, Steven. Holy cow. Let's get stops on the other side. And now let's do it. So on the inside track, we're going to go all the way down. We'll get some stops right through here. There we go. And this one's going to take uh, a line this way. And we'll get this Zoo Express to stop. Uh, say, right over here. And then we'll swing back around. We've got to stop there. And then this tram's going to be sharing itself. Uh, with our, our tram track. It's going to be sharing the tram track with uh, this other tram. There we go. And uh, now, just to support the, the, the kind of idea, we need to do that. And then we need to do that. And then everywhere, we need to lock the nodes in. Otherwise, the trams will try to jump on each other's tracks. Uh, and that's no fun. So, there we go. Look at this. People are already queuing up for it. Uh, the red tram is going to be very busy. So this is the Waterfront North tram. Uh, look, look at this stop connection over here. Madness. Where are they all going? Everywhere. Fantastic. So this tram line is going to be quite the supporting system for this district over here too. Uh, so let's take a quick dive into this tram systems. And I'm really paying attention to this number because I want to hit it tomorrow. Or on, uh, I guess, Monday's episode. We'll be hitting that. Uh, but let's look at trams. Uh, tram line 6 is the one I need to revise. That goes over there. So this is something that we're not going to be dealing with at the moment. Because I'll just deal with it off camera. Tram line 10 is uh, the one that connects into the industry area. Okay, so that's one, not one we did today. But we did this light purple tram. Sorry about everything blocking the screen here. The light purple tram connects into here, goes through the university, and connects to the buses. So that will be, uh, I guess we'll rename it. This is what the university line has become now. How about that? University Express, how about that? Uh, and tram line 12 is the Packenhampton Moore line. There we go. Uh, let's check how many vehicles this one has. It has eight on it now. There's tons of people transferring here to the Queen Street line on these buses. Where are they going? Perfect. And then they can transfer over here. Uh, or they can get off and then walk cross because there's pedestrian connections here. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to get some, well, well we will be getting a, a, a subway line that probably runs from about here like this. So I guess in a way it should be working uh, as expected. Um, that's not the right one, Stephen. Uh, this was the Packhampton Moore line. It has tons of people on it, but in weird spots. So let's just get 10 uh, lines there. Or 10 trams. And then the purple line, tram line 13. Okay, holy cow. Tram line 13. That's the uh, Zoo Express line.
Um, it has eight frames on it at the moment, currently. Let's go with uh, like five. And, oh, did I not actually name it? Oh, I guess I didn't name Okay, so Zoo Express. There we go. And the last one is the Waterfront Line, uh, which runs for the entire length of the city. Oh, no, it's not. It's not the Waterfront Line. It's Why does everything keep disappearing? It's a Red Tram Line. Uh, it's not the Queen Street Line. It's the Waterfront North. Okay, it has 35 trams on it. Uh, yeah, this is going to be something we're going to have to look at probably in Monday's episode because 35 trams seems like a lot. Let's put it into 30. Oh, no, no, no. Let's, let's keep it at 35. Let's, let's see what happens because this all needs to spread out and we'll need to readjust things as is. But, uh, you know, with all these trams, they should really support what's going on in the city. And I really like how it kind of turned out. So let's just take a quick peek at all these lines now that we've kind of got them set up. Let's see what we did today. We took a line that ran from the waterfront all the way over here. It runs this way. Uh, it connects into here where we have the orange line, our orange bus line connecting here. We have the connection with the yellow uh, tram line as well, which uh, the yellow tram line runs this way through the city along Ontario Street. It runs north, it connects with this bus line, which is probably just filled to capacity. Oh no, it looks like we're doing a pretty good job. I think we can get a couple more buses on there though. There we go, and let's go back to this view. The red line then continues up where it connects with the electric line. Uh, oh, looks like uh, we need to stop over here. There we go. I mean, there's a lot of stops here, but that's okay. Uh, and it uh, connects with the electric line and then this University Express line, which goes through the university. Uh, it also connects up with this yellow bus, which is a University Express as well. Um, and it connects over here. Then we go over this way. Uh, we connect in with an orange tram line, which runs down into here. It connects with this walking path, which is close to these buses over this way runs right along through the Moore District, which is just a residential neighborhood. It also connects up with a subway line, which is nice. And then it runs north, connects up with these buses, uh, and goes right to the zoo, which is also a kind of supporting system for Holly Hills here. Uh, then we have an express bus, or an express tram that runs from here to here, which will be filtering lots of buses into this area. Um, and it can also pick up passengers that are coming off of uh, the subway here and want to go to the tram. So we'll have to let it run for a little while. I'm sorry we didn't get to uh, everything we were expecting to today. Uh, but, you know, I think that's that's okay. You know, sometimes you just don't hit everything you want to. But uh, I think everything's going to work out pretty well. I'm expecting that this is going to steal a lot of passengers from these bus lines, which is kind of what we were hoping for. Uh, but we also said we wanted to uh, continue uh, or expand this out a little bit more. So why don't I just do that really quickly? Um, whoops, looks like uh, collision was off or something. Let's just grab that, take out those, and let's go into buses really quickly. And let's grab the yellow bus. There we go, so now the yellow bus uh, they're all, all three of them are on different paths here, which is nice. It looks like the yellow bus is a lot of support, so five buses. Looks like we're probably fine with that. Uh, let's maybe add seven onto there. And hey, look at this, there's way less people here now too. So we'll have to revise that. I'll Perhaps I'll do it off camera or something like that, but um, let's just try to find a good picture to end it off on. We'll go into a uh, free camera here. And, I don't know, I, I guess we'll, we'll look at it over here. All right. Have a wonderful day, everyone. 
I'll talk to you soon. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Peace out.